All right, YouTube, back in another video. And today's plan is to tint my taillights in that third brake light. I don't even know how to pull the taillights out, but I'm going to figure that out. As I talked about in the last video, I think I talked about it. Clay bar in the car. As taillights and stuff are drying, I'm going to clay bar the car. I think I have one or two clips of me already clay barring the trunk lid before I put on the uh, spoiler. So maybe I'll throw that in, but I'm really not going to show too much of the clay bar. But I'm going to tint, you know. The light that goes on the bottom right there and obviously both my tail lights so let's flip the camera around and uh try to get these pulled off so you got a clip up here a clip down here that you know you just take your panel tool pop off so pop those two off then you have a bolt here that i've taken out already and one here that has usually has this little clip over it take these two bolts off and there's a couple clips back here pop this off and you should be able to rotate these out torx these torques are here. These are T40s, the two that are here and here, because that's what it looks like all popped off. And then on this back side, you have four bolts, one on the bottom right here, one there, and then one up there, and a little clip that I already popped off. And then after that, the taillight should be able to pop right out. Also, you need to take your panel tool and kind of, there's a little clip back here. You need to pop this part of the bumper out just like that, just a little bit. You can see it right there. And then after that, you should be able to, that's all you need, just enough room to pull the taillight out. And to pull off this whole piece, I did a whole part of my last video if you want to check it out to see. But there's just bolt, a couple clips and all comes out. And there's just, uh, I think, four bolts or three bolts holding the top up. It's all in my last video if you want to check that out. Okay, so I got all the pieces off. I'm going to use the same spray tint I always, has, always have. But I'm going to scuff them up just the slightest amount so it sticks a little better. And then I'm going to clear coat these. And then I'm going to have to tape and you know wrap this whole thing up so I can spray that little red spot but let me uh, scuff them all up tape this up and uh get the table prepped and everything to uh spray i got them all prepped and clean do one coat see how dark they are i'm probably gonna be just doing two coats do one more wipe down right before i spray so probably two coats of tint and then one single coat of clear i'll show you after what the first coat looks like all right so we got one coat on everything those already look a lot darker a lot better Probably end up putting one more coat on there. We'll see what this looks like once it's dry. I'll give it about 20 minutes and let it dry. In the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up where the lights usually sit in. I forgot to record the second coat and the clear coat, but they're on. This one looks very good. A little bit of trash in it, but looks good. The middle, can't tell. This one, I don't know if my shadow, but this one, super uh, faded kind of. Not faded, but it's kind of, hazy so this one i need a wet sand a little bit clear coat and you can i don't know if you'll be able to see it but somewhere right about there it had a run i had to sand it out when it dried but i think that let me pull it off clear coat and re-sand that one and then obviously wash the car and then i will re-spray this one and i'm gonna clay bar the whole car also all right so we're back we are gonna pull the taillights back off and i'm going to retint or not gonna retin, but I'm gonna make the driver's side one more coat darker and a re clear coat both. I'm gonna sand them down, not really sand them down, but scuff them up just a little bit with like a, a thousand grit and it should be pretty good. And then I'm gonna re clear coat them. Let me show you what they kind of look like in the sun a little bit. You could tell the difference. So you can see this one, you really can't see that red back there. This one, you can see the red. So obviously, I can't really make that one lighter. I can, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to put one more coat on these and re-clear coat both of them. Try to get the haziness out of that one. And then they'll both match a little bit better because when the lights are on, which I'll turn them on right now, you can kind of see this one's a little bit lighter than that passenger sign. Do it again. So I'll just put another coat on the driver's side and then clear coat both and they should be uh, pretty good. I'll show you when I got them on the table. Okay, I have my last coat of tint on this one this one is scuffed ready so once this is dry i'm gonna give this a good 20 minutes to dry probably and i'll clear coat both of them at the same time hopefully we don't have the same results as last time hopefully they're both as shiny and look like the same darkness because you can see the red just a little bit through there and just a little bit through there so i think they'll look pretty good or very similar when we're done all right so i got them back on they look way more similar I think they're just slightly duller, but they look, uh, I think they look a little bit better. Kind of match the uh, uh, wicker bill part 
of the spoiler, whatever you call it, but the metal piece. I think they look pretty good. No runs this time. All right, YouTube, so it's been some time since I recorded last, like always, I always slack, very bad, but I've been working on it a little bit, the car. I have the top of the car, the hood, the top of the car, and the trunk, all clay barred and waxed. And I still need to clean the front bumper off, clay bar and wax it, and then clay bar and wax the back of the car again. And then the driver's side needs to be clay barred and waxed. And the passenger side is completely waxed, or completely clay barred, just need to be waxed. But so you just see the top, it's just looking amazing. Nice and smooth, like, this is smooth, but it's still, you got like here, and here it just glides across. And this is just clay barred. That's waxed, top's waxed, trunk lid's waxed, and the spoiler's waxed. And this whole side just needs to be waxed, and it will be good as smooth as the top. I'm not going to do the mirrors because these are going to be getting painted in the next two weeks, so I'm not even going to worry about those. Get painted black because this one's all cracked up and this side's got nothing so this side is super rough can barely drag my finger across really bad but those are getting painted next week pull the mirror caps and the wheels should be getting painted after that once i learn how to uh, paint with uh doing the mirror caps i can just see like the paint just looks so good right there compared to here it's kind of more dingy and not as uh doesn't look as bright as up here even though the sun yeah the sun's hitting this a little bit more but still on this side and just it being clay barred pulled all those little like you there's nothing in the paint no more no little black specks like uh there's probably some in the back you kind of see like the stuff that's in there the clay bar pulled all that stuff out so super smooth and just need to wax this side and then get a paint pen or whatever to fill in these little chips. And then one right there too. And then figure out what I'm gonna do with the door handle being chipped right there. Okay, so the entire car is clay barred, waxed, everything. And I don't remember if I showed before, but there used to be all types of stuff all in the paint back here. Now it is amazing. And you can't ever even see where the uh, old emblems used to be. Before there was like a slight haze. Wasn't very noticeable, but you can see it if you like look for it. But that's way better. Super, super, super clean. Everywhere, except for this little area where stuff hit the car, but it looks so, so, so much better. You can see that sparkle in there. It's a lot shinier and just overall so much cleaner. Tomorrow after work, I might put another coat of wax on there or later today since it would still be clean and it is super smooth like everywhere but it could i would say it could use another coat i wax the windows it sounds crazy but wax all the windows it helps the water beat off a lot better because i do have i always do put rain x on my windshield because i never use my wipers so there's never shrieks or nothing on my windows so it all looks very very good now i'm just gonna paint I think I'm going to paint it them on. I'm going to paint the mirror cap, this little silver piece in there, and then just tape off the rest. I don't think I'm going to mess with this. I can wet sand this and buff it just to get some of those little scratches out. And then, because I don't really want to pop these mirror caps off and possibly crack them. And like I said before, I will eventually paint these, but I'm going to start with the mirror caps, you know, get my toes wet and feel off the painting. But that's going to wrap up this video. It looks a lot better just when you get up close to the paint. All that, uh, I think they call it mill dust or mill rust or whatever. That's what was all over. There's still a little bit. So I didn't really take too, too much time to try to get it all out. But for the most part, it's all out. And I've had to go to the dealer. I had to get the uh, thermostat replaced. Um, they put a new water pump on it. It was like overheating or something. Something was going wrong with the car, but, you know, warranty replaced all that. So that's good. But hopefully within the next week or two, I'll have the video out for painting the mirror caps and really just be me learning how to do that and fix those cracks on that uh, driver's side mirror. But thanks for watching this video. Hope to see you guys in the next one.